Good morning and welcome back. I am home. It feels good to be home, but that trip was so fun. If you didn't see it already, go watch my Sacramento, California road trip vlog. It was a blast. I had a really fun time editing that video. Yeah, just go give it a watch if you haven't seen it already. It's packed full of adventures and outfits and hair and makeup and thrifting, all the good stuff. This video is going to be very similar actually in the sense that we're going thrifting, I'm gonna show you my outfit, and then we're gonna head off to an adventure. We are going to Everett, Washington. A friend of ours has a tattoo shop up there and he is hosting an event today. I found that right down the street from where this is all going on that there's a thrift store. I want to show you this amazing shirt that I got. I waited forever for the Theory Mugler and H&M collab to come out. I was able to get my hands onto something and I'm wearing it right now. And it is this Theory Mugler, please Sienna, please be saying that right. Should I check first? <laughs> French and Pons, it is said as Thierry Mugler. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have on this Thierry Mugler shirt that I was able to snag in a size two sizes too big. The sleeves are less capped, but I don't mind and you can't even tell, but I love it so much. It's definitely a really good quality t-shirt. It has the Mugler emblem on the back of it, and then I put on the Alien perfume. I'm gonna wear it today. We'll see if I get any compliments on it. I did kind of spray it a little heavy and it's a pretty intense fragrance. People have been stopped walking down the airport and asked what they're wearing. Anyway, I'll have all of that linked. I've been doing this lately and I'm really enjoying it. I'm doing lookbooks where everything I wear, my outfit, my perfume, my lipstick, all the details are on a lookbook post on my website. So it's shoppable if you want. I'm not trying to promote this like buyer industry, but I get asked a lot what I'm wearing or where I got something or this, that, and the other. And I've had complaints when I don't. So I kind of am stuck because I don't want to seem like I'm just pushing things on people. You know, I love to thrift and I love a budget, but if I'm going to be asked, I'm just going to offer it. Anyway, I need to get going. We're going to stop by the Mad Hat Tea Company on the way out. They have Kava Tea. Kava Tea is a root that is known for its calming effects and it's ground into a tea form powder and then turned into like almost tea milk and it's so good. You do want to do that kind of tea in moderation because I know that it can tend to affect your liver. So you don't want to drink it like excessively, but that's like most things. But yeah, so we are just basically going to get it whenever we have a stressful drive or something like that because Everett is on the opposite side of Seattle. So where we are in Tacoma, there's Seattle, there's Tacoma, and then there's Everett. So it's the opposite side. We got to drive through the city to get to it. All right, here's what I'm going to wear today. This is the Thierry Mugler <laughs> t-shirt. So this is a little Amazon white skirt. I have on my bloomers underneath, just in case my skirt blows up. I don't know what accent that is. The cowboy boots that I got in Sacramento and I didn't speak through the clothes, but these actually are brand new based off of the look of the bottom of them and the inside. So I scored myself my second pair of cowboy boots. Brand spank a new end. Guess what? <laughs> These are actually my size. These are eight and a half, which I'm an eight, eight and a half. I actually got a pair of boots my size. And I love that gold detail on the front of them. And that's it. Cool. Cool. All right, we're going to get going. We are about halfway there on our way to Everett. This is actually Bellevue, which is where all the like Gucci stores and Saks. What else is over here? Maybe a Louis Vuitton store. You know, all the bougie stuff. It's fun to fantasize, but I can never shop in any of those stores. I have to wait until somebody else does and then gets over it and sends it off to the real real for someone to buy. And that's where I come in. <laughs> Traffic is really crazy and I'm feeling sick. It's it's hard to uh, for me to ride in the car when the traffic is this heavy. I just, I get really uh, overwhelmed by it and it, I feel nauseous. But guess what we did? That's right, we stopped to pee. <laughs> and I got a liquid death, which is not helping the bury it alive 
liquid death is just making me have to pee more, but I'm not gonna drink any more of it until we're closer to Everett. I didn't even know Everett had this kind of little downtown walk. It's kind of cute. Let's see if they have kava real quick. Yeah. That little spot's cute. I'm off to the Goodwill, walking through downtown. It's really windy, so you probably can't hear this, but there's the Goodwill, and it's right downtown. We got a sunny day. I'm so excited. I mean, the waterfront is just that way. A leather horse? Yeah. Is it leather? What? I actually kind of do like that. <laughs> Creepy room. This room you walk in and it goes la 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 la. Come play with us. Sus. <laughs> Look, it's me. day trip to Everett. I loved that little downtown area. I had no idea. I really like to explore the cities around us, even the ones that aren't really known for, like no one says, oh, you've got to go to Everett downtown. I usually like sending you to the little touristy places like Port Townsend. We went to even just downtown Seattle's market, things like that. And Antique Row here in Tacoma is really known as like a huge antique shopping area, thrifting, vintage and all that and a lot of people don't know about it. So I like to bring awareness to the vintage and thrift <laughs> across Washington, across anywhere I can find one. So it's great that my dogs are wrestling. I went to the Goodwill. It was yet again, another beautiful Goodwill, just like Sacramento, where it was boutique-y. It just felt really nice. They had dressing rooms. They gave you a bag when you left. If you needed a bag to carry your stuff, they gave you bag options even between plastic and paper. I was like, I have a choice. So I was able to actually carry all of my stuff back. <laughs> so as I came back, I went that way by the Vintage Cafe and saw this lovely 
Mercantile, is that how you say that word? Store, and they caught me with the vintage on the outside with all the clothing on the rack, lured me in, and it was the most magical place. The gal that worked there was the owner. It was her mother's store. Her mother had passed away in August, and left her the store so the store is now hers and a lot of the things in that store were her mother's so she kind of explained like what parts of the store were all things that her mother really loved collecting one of them being crystal there was a lot of crystal glasses and then they had two of these really neat looking almost tattoo style uh eggs and they were smaller and there was like a smaller one and a bigger one and we had been talking about finding something for the tv underneath It's beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is exactly what need. It's heavy. Don't you think? What was your thing? Let me back up. That is <laughs> perfect. And then we're going to like minimize, do a candle here, keep it simple. Yeah, the other one would have been almost. <laughs> <laughs> the other one would have been almost too big yeah looks great i love it as you can see here we set it underneath the tv i've cleared the area put some candles down and made it look less cluttered and it's perfect it's perfect for that spot so i'm so glad that we found something for that little spot there so i'll just go ahead and start with this place so this is the name of it it's called the grand leader mercantile and it's this just awesome store two story she said film do whatever you want because i told her i do a lot of thrifty blogging and she said do whatever you need to do and she was so nice we talked the whole time she just kept conversating with me so one of the first things i grabbed was this it's a cookie tin with peaches on it if you don't know me i'm really into peaches and so i loved the blue the navy blue with the orange i just thought it was such a nice tin and so a little vintage cookie tin i just got it to get it honestly and it was five bucks and just really just a really nice Nice cookie. I love these vintage cookie tins. For a while there were what I kept all of my makeup in, but I grew out of that. <laughs> then clothing wise there, there was a lime green lace kind of jacket button up. So a vintage shirt in this lovely lime green color. Not something I have a lot of in my wardrobe. So I just had to have it. I'm going through a lace phase right now. I do that a lot. <laughs> I find one thing that I love and then I kind of just, that's all I look for. And I really like this shirt a lot. I didn't even try it on. So I'm hoping it fits. Another thing that I loved so much is this hand knit black beanie. I'm probably not gonna wear it until autumn, but oh my God, it's so cute. I love it so much. All right, what else? Okay, so then the last thing that I got there at, oh no, I got two more things at that shop. One of them being a pair of costume jewelry style earrings. They're only $2. I really liked these earrings. Those? And I don't buy jewelry often. I don't know why. I like jewelry, I just don't really buy it often. I think it's because I tend to have allergic reactions, so the jewelry that I have to wear is usually expensive <laughs> or else I'm allergic to it, so I'm like. <laughs> These are all brand new. It's a leaf banana clip and it's the exact color of my hair. And so I thought, perfect. I'm gonna use it, I should have bought two of these, honestly, because this is gonna be my new favorite clip. I can already tell. So that's what I got there at the Mercantile place. We had mentioned we were gonna stop and get some tea and the reason why we didn't was because the place we wanted to go to wasn't open yet. So while we were walking around downtown to go get coffee in Everett, we found a tea place and it was so cute. The inside of that place, I think I might have a new thing. I think I might now be obsessed with tea and tea stores and flavored tea. Here we go, it's a thing. Sienna turns everything into a thing. <laughs> She, she always does. But what we ended up doing was asking them if they had kava because we 
are now kava lovers and we want to learn how to make it ourselves at home. So you want the authentic stuff because you will get the benefits of kava, which is basically like an anxiety remover in a way. If you drink it, you stop needing it. That's goals. <laughs> and the guy of the tea store, we ended up stopping on our way back because we got the kava, but now what? So we asked the guy at the tea store we had meant to go to, which is the Mad Hat Tea Company here in Tacoma. This is where we wanted to go. So we thought, okay, well, we'll just stop on our way back through. They had kava as well. So we have two different kinds. We have the rose kava kava now, and we have the root kava still unpowdered. So you want it ground into a powder form. He told us how to do it. And he said it's better to do it in something with some sort of fat for the kama kava to, he says something about a compound adhering to a fat. So anyway, you don't do it hot like a tea. So we're going to steep it. We bought a little tea filter. So then also we went to the Colby Avenue tattoo shop, which is our friend's tattoo shop. And the whole reason why we went up is because a friend of my husband's and a friend of mine too, but he's a, a friend of my husband's. They talk all the time on Instagram. They're big tattoo. I wouldn't say tattoo nerds, but they're like really big tattoo collectors and just really into the whole. Yeah. They just talk about tattoos like all the time. Anyway, our friend opened a shop up there. He was getting tattooed by him. It's the same guy who did my neck uh, tattoo. His name is Jamie King. He's really big in Seattle, uh, like heavy hitter. In Seattle I would say now he has two shops one called Monarch and then now he's co-owner of this one Colby Avenue tattoo so if you're ever in Everett go into that place and get tattooed because it's an amazing shop it's huge and it's really nice it's in a cute area you can go get coffee just got a good vibe to it and both owners are very nice people oh I forgot to mention speaking of nice owners when we went into the Mad Hat Tea Company, he gave us coconut shells to drink our kava out of. He said he had extras and he brought out four. He said, just in case you have friends over and want to give them some kava too. So now we have some coconut shell kava tea drink, drinking bowls. I thought that was really nice. <laughs> so anyway, they gave us free t-shirts at the Colby Avenue Tattoo Place. Finally, we were going to dive into this. This is the Goodwill haul and I didn't get a whole lot of clothes there. I just didn't really see anything clothing wise that really spoke to me. So I also really wasn't in a big clothing shopping mood. I was more of in a houseware type or just accessories type mood. You know what I mean when you go shopping and you're like, I don't really want to look at clothes. I want to look at shoes or hats. One of those moods. But I did find this skirt and it was the blue tag day for everything to be 50% off. This has the tag still on, which I keep finding at Goodwill. I found so many clothes lately that are brand new. And it's just a little black pleated skirt. And I really see myself wearing this a lot. And then I found a pair of 100% linen pants. Look at how nice these are. They're elastic waist, pocketed. They have these drawstrings and they just look really comfortable. And then this, <laughs> look at this humongous thing. I was thinking I would stain or paint it. I know some of you won't agree with that, but we don't have a lot of light wood in our house. It's either cherry or dark or like a mahogany wood, but we don't have a lot of light wood. And so I don't think it'll stay this way. I think I would pr rather really just stain it, but it is one of those bread holder things. The honey and sugar that I leave out and just all the, like I do my adaptogens and I have my little spoon and I have all my stuff set up for my coffee. I needed something where I can just tuck it away and close it to make this a spot where everything's kind of more put away because right now it's just such an eyesore next to the coffee maker. I just can't stand it, but yeah, it's huge. So I just felt like everything will really fit in here. And then when I'm done drinking coffee for the day, I can close it and I don't have to look at it again because it's so much stuff. I was looking for a new vase. I loved the look of this vase. I thought, ah, oh, it's probably just from TJ Maxx. You know, it's just too perfect. It's just too nice. There's no way. And then I flipped it over. And on the bottom of it, it says Downing Pottery Seattle. So this is made from a local potter and I Googled her. She has moved to Tacoma. So the gal who made this now lives in Tacoma. The perfect face for my flowers. I was looking for something shorter that I could put my roses in. And I loved the look of this face so much. It has this black kind of loose wiggly line going around it. I just thought it was a neat effect. It's such a nice shape. It's like this vanilla off-white kind of stone color. I love it. $9.99, but handmade pottery, 
local to where I live. You can't beat it and you can tell just by the bottom of it that it's handmade. The final thing I want to go through with you, if you were here for the thrifting stuff, this is probably going to be the end of the road for you and thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you are into makeup and you want to watch the rest of this, I'm just going to show you very quickly what I got in my Ipsy X, which is the big bi-monthly, tri-monthly Ipsy uh, skincare. It's so much stuff. Like I said, I want to go fast, so we're going to go fast. The Anastasia Dewey Set, which is their setting spray. It's so good. I remember when this launched. I remember when this launched and I was working at the Ulta's and Sephora's supporting Smashbox and I fell in love with this bottle. I'd always wanted it and I never got it. I think I got the mini. It looks like glitter, but it's not. Also, we have the Magic Extension Fiber Mascara. It's a, it looks like a newer one from MAC. Love this packaging so much. That looks really nice. And here's the wand, a traditional looking mascara wand, honestly. The next thing is the Anastasia Stick Highlighter. And I already have the blush, which I love so much. It's what I have on right now. Ooh, okay, you can't see that, but it's champagne. It's like a champagne color. The name of it is Bubbly. That would make sense. The next thing is the Skin Ink Supplement Bar Body Sculpt Fit Serum. This is a lightweight body serum that melts into the skin to lift and tone. It smells so good. And it's like a gel. It's, it is a totally a serum. So it's like a clear gel instead of a white lotion. Next up is the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant. I got the last X box that was the Bailey Sarian one and they did a Grown Alchemist face moisturizer that I'm almost out of and I love it so much. And I love their packaging. It's like those tubes, kind of like two old toothpaste tubes. And I just love this kind of packaging. I'm a sucker for it. So this is a polishing face exfoliant pink grapefruit extract. Nice. So this will be good. Uh, next up is the Equal Recipe Guava Bright Eye Gel Cream. How cute. It looks like nail polish. I like that bottle. It looks like nail polish. But that's nice. I could always use a new... I actually am in need of eye cream, so this I'm actually the most excited about because it's something I needed. Ooh, that's really nice. Stoked about that. This was an add-on. I grabbed it because I love the Elemis uh, cleansing balm and I've been wanting to try the rose one. This is a little travel. I was hoping that this was gonna get here before we left so that I could have brought this. <sighs> Such a good rose smell. Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. I think this was an add-on as well. So I think the color is going to be too dark. I keep having this issue lately with every concealer. Oh, it doesn't look like it is. <gasps> Ooh, please, 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 please. Ooh, oh, oh, yes. This might be what I've been looking for. I've been looking for a concealer that works with my BB cream. Sometimes when you're wearing BB cream, your concealer can be really, really heavy. And so then it looks off. I want a concealer that I can just do a couple of light dabs to get some coverage where I need it, but just wear BB cream, mostly just look like skin. This I'm really, really pumped on. Look at the size of this concealer. Uh, then we also have another little sample of something. I thought this was gonna be bigger. It was a $3 add-on, but it is the Buy the Balm Tinted Moisturizer. I'm really going through a tinted moisturizer moment, so I wanted to try something. Sample even is fine. And then a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I did already spray this and it's so nice. I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer. It smells really nice, very summery. And look at this bottle. It's so cute. And it's really nice. It's a really, uh, really great fine mist, which I like a fine mist. When I spray a setting spray, I prefer it in a mist form. So even this one I like, but it's like, it's exactly like Fix Plus. Even the packaging, it's Fix Plus, 100%. Same packaging and everything. So it kind of has like droplets that will go a little rogue, <laughs> if you will. So the fine mists are really nice because they just give you that like all over coverage. And finally, the last thing, this is as fast as I can go. The Modern Renaissance palette, that to me is a wow factor add-on, or not even add-on, this was part of the Xbox, so Xbox, Glam X, Glam Bag X. So this was a really, really good one. I have this already though, so I don't wanna open it, but you can't have too many of any Anastasia palette. I think even in this palette, I have hit pan on a few of these, so I'm glad I have a backup. But that is everything. 
thank you for coming thrifting with me. Thank you for exploring Everett with me. What a cute town. I was really just blown away with how cute Everett is. Good to know. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.